Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Ah, we're still kind of snowed in. Um, it's starting to melt now, and now we're getting big, long icicles uh, <laughs> at our doorways and stuff. So I'm constantly having to go out there with the broom and knock it all off. And we've got hummingbirds like crazy, crazy, crazy. I, um, I actually went out onto our deck and I changed the water and I act, I didn't even have the hummingbird feeder hung up. I had it in my hand and I had them coming and getting the um, juice, whatever. Um, what the heck is that called? <laughs> Not juice. <laughs> anyway, um, I, wow, I'm having issues today. <laughs> Anyways, they were swarming me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got like 15 or 20 of them that are in the tree next door. And they are hungry. So, <clears throat> we've got these tiny little chickadees that are coming. And those guys come in droves as well. So, I'm constantly having to watch. But I'm seeing that there's icicles starting to form on the bird feeders. So, I have to go out there and get it all off. And if... If it snows, all the um, hummingbird feeder, the flowers that they go into, um, it's packed with snow. So I have to keep going out there and getting it all off. And oh, they're a lot of work, I'll tell you. Geez, not only how do I have to take care of the cat, the dog, George, and now I have to take care of all the birds and make sure that they are okay. I actually saw, I didn't see it, George saw it online there's actually hummingbird feeder warmers i thought that was kind of interesting but i think you have to plug them in i'm not sure that kind of makes me a little nervous but i thought wonder what would if i should like crochet something that you can put over top to kind of keep the the cold out do you think that would work if i just made a tube and just put it over top of that i wonder Maybe I should try that. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, that's the dilemmas that I'm working on right now. <laughs> uh, today I'm making homemade turkey soup. Uh, I've got the, the turkey bones boiling. So the whole house smells wonderful, except there's condensation on everything. <laughs> All the windows have condensation, so I have to keep the kitchen window open a little bit, letting all the heat out. So, yeah, dilemmas. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we are here for another episode of the 12 Days of Christmas that I'm doing with Billy the Crafty Floridian. Yes, have you checked out her channel yet? If you haven't, you better go, did, go do it. Her link is down below. Okay, and while you're at it, go check out uh, uh, Laura at Mad Mimi Crochet because she's also doing the 12 Days of Christmas with Laura. Yes, and apparently Laura has her power out. Ugh. And she's in Alaska. Ugh. Like, ugh. Uh, my daughter's power just went out and, and her pipes are frozen and everything. That's what she went back home to. Pipes frozen, power's out, and I'm like, oh my god, like, oh god, unbelievable. So anyway, okay, day oop, six, six. So there we go. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> ah, it's squishy. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this, guys. Yarn Bee Snuggle Up. Snuggle Up. And it's Scarlet Ruby. And I've got Silver Fox. Look at that. I'm going to have to make a scooty. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because this is the type of yarn that I use when I'm making scooty. Well, not this one in particular. I, I use a, I think it's a Red Heart brand. 
but um, this is the exact stuff that you can use to make one, one of my scooties, the patterns down below in my Etsy shop. Um, <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> so this is, oh, it, this it's darker than this. It's like that. That's the color. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm going to have to make another scooty. Make two scooties. Because one ball will make the brim for one scooty. So I'll have to look in my um, yarn stash and see if I have a color that will complement this. Actually, you know what? I could probably do a gray with this and a red with this. Hmm. I'll have to think on it. So I'll make a couple scooties and um, I'll show you what these look like in it. Yeah, great idea. Thanks, Billy. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I, yeah, I've got uh, one other, well, I've got two actually, but I'm going to put one on the back burner for now. I've got one thing I have to get done before J uh, January 1st. And then I can start. <clears throat> Maybe I can do that as an in-between project. Um, when I put that down to rest, I'm almost done it. So I might as well get it finished and then I can start on the scooties. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> so thank you, Billy. I'm just, I'm looking so forward to this color. This is an awesome color. That remind. no, his was light. Was his lighter? Heather the Crochet Witch just made um, her best friend Damon uh, a Santa hat. Oh, Santa hat. Heather's got a pattern for her Santa hat. And she uses fur on her brim. Ooh. Oh, now you got me thinking, Billy. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it too late to make a Santa hat? I don't think so. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. Anyways, okay, that's it for today. Uh, so go check out Billy's channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those wonderful things. And I will see you guys back tomorrow and see what we get tomorrow. Okay, love you all. Bye.